Today we're going to have a heart to heart conversation. I love these type of videos. Comment below, do you ever look back and then you wish you had done some things differently in life? I'm sure we all have. In today's video, I'm going to share some of the things I regret not doing at all and some things that I regret not doing much earlier as an immigrant living in the UK so that you can pick a few lessons from these things. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Anel Griselda. On my channel, I talk about life in the UK, Nessay, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So if these are things that interest you, please do consider subscribing. So the first thing that I regret not doing much earlier is not buying a car and not getting my UK driver's license much earlier. So when I came, I had no idea that you could actually start driving with your home country's license for one year. Your normal home country's license you can use it in the UK from one year since you became a resident in the UK. So you came to the UK January 2023, you can actually use your, let's say your Nigerian driver's license up until January 2024 without any issue at all. And why I regret not doing this earlier is that, see, there are people that have been here for years and years and they have tried to pass the UK driver's license, the practical, so many times and they keep failing. Do you know why I think I passed on my first try? It's because I used that Ghana license to drive prior to taking the exam. So I was very familiar with the routes. The routes that I was taking on the day of my test, I had used that route several times. And I was familiar. I know that this is the bus route. I know that this is that, this is that. I'm not supposed to pass here at this hour. I'm not supposed to park here at this hour because I have been driving for several months prior to taking the test. So it made it much easier. So if you're in your home country right now, listening to me, you're planning on relocating to the UK, I would advise that if possible, get your home country's license. I'm not saying get it illegally. Learn how to drive, even if you don't have a car, learn how to drive back in your home country and then get your license. And when you come here, try and get a car. It doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive car. The car I bought at the time was less than 3,000 pounds, was almost 3,000 pounds. And on Facebook Marketplace, you can get cars as cheap as 1,000, 2,000 pounds, okay? The car that I bought in 2019 when I came, is still what myself and my husband are still using at this moment, getting to five years. You don't have to buy a very expensive car. It's just a car to get you going for the time being, okay? But for my people from some part of Southern Africa, like South Africa, Zimbabwe, you don't even need to get a UK driver's license necessarily. When you come and you have a valid Zimbabwean driver's license, you can actually transfer to a UK's license just by paying some amounts and filling some forms easily. So for you guys, try and grab your country's license so that you can easily transfer to a UK's license when you get here. You understand? My workplace at the time when I first moved was about, let's say, 18 minutes drive or 14 minutes drive. But because I was taking the bus, I didn't have a car, it could take me as much as two hours to get to work can you imagine because i have to go wait for this bus make sure i don't miss the second bus sometimes when the first bus is delays you're likely to miss the second bus and it is so stressful if you're in this part of uk like um, let's say scotland northern ireland where the bus times are not so on point see get a car okay if you're in london where there's a train going to wherever you're going to every 15 minutes every 10 minutes your case is different so that's the first thing i regret not doing earlier this is a bonus tip okay i regret not downloading transfer go earlier transfer go is an international now money transfer app that allows you to send money to African countries like Ghana and Nigeria. When I came, I used to send money home to friends, cousins, and I was using this app, guys. It would take, sometimes, I'm not exaggerating, it can take like three days. That's how I was sending, I was sending money to somebody. It took like almost a week before the person got the money. At a point, I, I even felt embarrassed because I was paying for something with this person. And I had to call customer service so many times. Guys, if you want a stress-free transaction where you can send money to friends and family easily without any hassle, use transfer go they are rated the best money transfer company on trustpilots.com can you imagine if you're in any eu country at all you can send money to ghana bank account or mobile money account with transfer go with no hidden charges okay what you see in the app is what your friend is receiving or what your family member is receiving in at most 10 minutes the person is going to get the money and they are authorized by the uk financial conduct authority this is a legit money transfer company that you can use and they have this amazing thing where when you refer a friend you get 20 pound bonus so if you invite somebody to use the app using your referral code you can generate a referral code from the app itself and the person sends like about a hundred pound between two different currencies in like the first six months you get 20 pounds free and this 20 pound it has unlimited number of people so if you have 100 friends multiply 100 by 20 mm -hmm. this is great honestly meaning you are an influencer for transfer go yourself so i would recommend transfer go to anybody watching me right now download transfer go i'll leave links in the description whether i use an android whether i use an ios you can always use transfer go but first of all use my link so that i'll get that 20 pound 
you understand <laughs> and then you can generate your own link and then send it to your friends and family to use it and you get a limited 20 pound reward each time a friend sends money you know so let me say thank you transfer girls for sponsoring today's video if you're getting any value whatsoever from this video so far please like the video and subscribe thank you so much so the third thing that i'll talk about is joining an agency so usually when we say join an agency, people get confused, especially those that are not in the UK yet. They get confused. So when you come to the UK as a skilled worker or as a health and care worker visa, you are allowed to pick a second job, okay? But the second job should be in the same occupation code and you should not work for more than 20 hours. Although in this temporal period, there's no limit, but the usual thing is 20 hours per week, right? When I came, a lot of people put fear in me, right? They put fear in me that, ah, you don't have to go and do agency, no, because with the agency, you can be posted to different places that you're not familiar with. So people were scaring me that, no, you just came. What happens if you go there and you make a mistake? The nurses are going to report you and you're going to lose your license. So don't do agency. Like people put so much fear in me. But when I was planning to get married, I needed money with a, you know, wedding costs a lot. I needed money to, for a lot of things. I'm like, ha, I'm still going to do agency regardless. Okay, so I registered with an agency and it was one of the best things I ever did. And I regret not doing it sooner. Some agencies will say that you should have had your UK nurse license for at least six months before you start but once you start and then you realize that you're getting a hold of things I'd advise that you register with an agency okay do you know what I learned I got to meet so many other nurses that are very intelligent and very smart that I learned from I remember this guy this Filipino guy that I worked with about three times I learned so much from this guy he's been in the UK for over 13 years as a nurse and he knows so much and I was paired with him he did my orientation one time in this particular nursing home I learned so much from him I've never met him anywhere else again and I'm like where would I have met such a person aside the fact that you meet other nurses that you can learn from you get to see new a whole different environment so for me there are some facilities that I went to that they had some special devices that I had never seen in the facility where I was working. But because I was working there, they taught me how to use those machines. And now if somebody asks me, have you ever used this machine? Have you ever seen it before? I can boldly and confidently say yes. Okay. And because you had worked in different environments, it builds your confidence. Because you go here, you see a condition or you see a medication that you've never seen before. You Google it, you learn about it. Some of the nurses tell you about it. And then it's building your confidence, it's building your knowledge, and it's making you a better nurse. The thing is, you do have to be careful because you're working with an agency and I built my own checklist for going through agency shifts smoothly so all the agency shifts I had I never had an issue and it was because I was going through this checklist anywhere I go whatever I learn I write it down and I make sure I use it my next shift and it was so helpful guys if you want me to do a whole video about this particular checklist let me get at least 1,000 likes in this video <laughs> and I'll share with you guys for free so the fourth thing, I regret not doing this at all. I wanted to make a whole video about this. Maybe I'll make a whole video about this and explain to you guys. But let me briefly explain. I regret not opening an ISA account, like a Helped by ISA. At the time, it was a Helped by ISA. But these days, we don't have Helped by ISA anymore. We have what we call a Lifetime ISA. So ISA as an ISA. ISA means an individual savings account. It's a type of account where it's like you don't pay taxes on the savings. You understand? So you can save up to... £4,000 each tax year. You know the tax year runs from April to April, right? And the government gives you 25% on top of the money that you have saved. So if you saved £4,000 the first tax year, you're going to get as much as £1,000 from the government free of charge, okay? So let's say, imagine that you've been in the UK for four years or five years, right? And then you've been saving £4,000 in this ICI account. At the end of the five tax years, you're likely to get roughly £5,000 on top of what you have. But the only thing is, this money should be used to buy your first house or should be used towards your pension. And you should have opened it at least one year before buying the house. When I came, I was told that I was not eligible and I didn't do my research, so I couldn't do it. Later, when I realized that we could actually do it, it was too late because we had to open the account at least a year prior and we had already started searching for houses. So we missed this opportunity. I know a couple, a Ghanaian couple in the UK, that had, because the, the wife was saving in an ISA account, the husband was saving in an ISA account. So at the end of the day, they had over 5,000 in bonuses from the government to buy their house. See, furnishing a house is so damn expensive. If you get 5,000 free of charge from the government, and this is not public funds, you know what you can use that money for, honestly? It can even be used towards the deposits or even towards furnishing your house. That is so awesome. Like, you should not miss it, honestly. I honestly regret, I wanted to do a full video about it. I have interviewed my good friend, um, Dr. Shadrach Dari, 
who spoke a bit about it i'll leave links to that video in the description as well and i'll leave his channel he talked about these things finance things about a uk system that you have to know because there are so many things that you work hard my husband and i we work hard and hard and hard to save that deposit that we use for the house when we could have gotten free money from the government to help us make life much easier can you imagine we missed this opportunity so guys so let me show you this thing real quick so documentation and documents is really really important in this uk i'm sure you can testify i regret not getting this file holder like much much earlier you know this is like a document keeping file record keeping is very very vital in the uk one minute you'll be there and they are requesting for some documents that you were given three years ago and you needed to maybe extend your visa or you needed to apply for indefinite leave to remain or you needed to apply for your british passport so it's very vital that you keep any documents very well for me the ones that i get in my email i save them in my files and into my cloud for those that use iphone right even if i change my phone i'll still get access to it and for the hard copy ones this file that i'm showing you guys what i love about this file i'm not saying you should get the exact file but i'm just showing you that record keeping is important right with this file you know it has a b c d blah 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 to the end so even something about taxes i save it in the t section even something about hospital i save it in the h section even something about my work i save it in the w section so you can easily get access to it at any point in time when i was applying for my visa renewal after three years they were asking for the hospitals i have attended can you imagine since i came to the uk and i have been pregnant i have attended several hospitals for several illnesses or whatever and you don't track this when it is happening because you don't even know you'll be asked such a question but because i had the h section which also has hospital records i could see some of the letters i had gotten for the appointments because we're asking for the dates you attended these hospitals can you imagine but because i had these letters i could see you know i had kept all these things i didn't throw it my way it's so easy it's in one file i have one of this my baby he has one of this and my husband has one of this so we are keeping every single record when i was doing my taxes last year the accountant was asking for my p45 from the very first time that i came to the uk because it's about p45 i know it's about hmrc taxes it's in my t section so record keeping because you will be asked to provide some of these documents later on in the future so please do keep your records very very well and for me this is the way that i know how to do that has helped me so far and i think it's great so i believe that you can also use this method as well do you understand i regret not starting a side hustle much earlier okay see guys it doesn't have to be a side hustle in the uk it can be a side hustle back home for me mine is youtube youtube has opened so many doors for me me and i know i can receive a call from rcn who am i there's a story that i want to share but i'll share it maybe on my other channel okay and it's opportunities that youtube has opened for me and i think that if you are looking to start something you know pursue your dream it doesn't necessarily have to be youtube it doesn't necessarily have to be business something it can even be feathering your education people have come here and they had in their dreams that they will feather their education but they've been here for so long life happens and now they lose interest okay maybe you have a diploma you want to get a degree when you come here immediately you come here and you settle you see that things are okay don't wait for too long just start the application process if you want to do whatever it is maybe start a business back home do something don't waste so much time chase your dream fast time and tide waits for no man okay whatever it is your dream is start working on it as fast as possible because if you don't take care life will happen you keep prolonging it and it might never happen i'm telling you maybe for you you want to go to the u.s so for you you want to write end clicks as soon as you come here after passing your skin after getting everything sorted and settled start working on it because if you wait for long you might not go at all you understand and the last thing that i'll add is investing for me I invest in S&P 500, okay? I've spoken so much about it and I'll leave a link in the description, okay? See, those that will know, know. You don't have to work every day and save the money that you are making as a nest. There are clever ways to double your money or to multiply your money. And one way is the S&P 500. S&P 500 simply means I'm investing in the top 500 companies in the US. So as I stand here right now, I am an investor in Apple, I invest in Coca-Cola, I invest in Tesla, all the top 500 companies in the US, my investment is using to fund these companies, okay? When you invest in S&P 500, you automatically invest in all these companies. So these are legit companies that are not likely to fail. Even if they should fail, these companies are in different sectors. We have health companies, we have transport companies, they are in diverse sectors. So if, let's say, the health industry should fail, at least maybe the transport industry will not fail. So your money is a bit safe because you are assured that it will be multiplied, okay? And do this for not less than five years and you'll be happy you did. I haven't started reaping the massive benefits yet. I am so sad that I didn't know about it earlier because if I had done it earlier, I mean, look, 
I only started last year and I learned it from somebody I invited on this channel as well. I'll leave links to that video as well in the description so that you can learn. You can save, 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 save money and your money is going to lose its value because if you save £20,000 today, £20,000 will not be as valuable in 10 years time because of inflation. So that is what I have. I explain much, much into detail in my video about my investments that I do. So I would advise that you watch it as well. I hope you have learned something from this video and I hope that you learn from some of the mistakes that I did and then start working on yours right now guys okay thank you so much for watching bye